Ripple has been ordered to pay a fine of $125 million by the Securities and Exchange Commission as part of the ongoing legal battle with the company. Although they are currently involved in a protracted regulatory dispute, the Ripple Group is getting ready to issue a bond to the United States Securities and Exchange Commission for $125 million. Uh, this is even though they are currently engaged in the dispute. As a result of the allegations uh, that have been made in this lawsuit, which has been going on for more than three years, uh, Ripple is being accused of engaging in an unregistered investment offering through the distribution of XRP, the imposition of the fine, which is significantly less than the nearly $2 billion that the SEC had initially sought is one of the most significant developments in the case that the digital asset community is keeping a close eye on. This is one of the most important developments that the community cares about. On August 88, 2023, a judge at the federal level issued an order that required Ripple to pay the assessment, which was a total of $125 million. As a direct consequence of this verdict, the initial demands that were made by the SEC have been significantly reduced. The company had previously voiced its disapproval of a lesser sanction proposing a maximum charge of $10 million. However, this is the case even though the company had rejected the proposal. Even though Ripple will still be required to pay significant costs as a consequence of the decision made by the court, it indicates that a mutually acceptable resolution has been reached. The establishment of this regulation was the result of a decision that was made by Justice Annalisa Torres in July 2023. In that decision, she concluded that XRP does not constitute an assurance because Ripple had violated securities regulations by marketing XRP to institutional investors. The court concluded that the company ought to be punished for its actions. However, the court also discovered another violation, which appeared to be a heated conversation. Ripple considered this to be a partial success. However, the court also discovered another violation. Following the announcement of this decision, concerns have been raised regarding the appropriate legal framework for the regulation of cryptocurrency. When it comes to appealing the decision that was made by the court, the Securities and Exchange Commission has until October 6th to do so. However, it has not made it clear what it intends to do. Everyone is currently pondering the question of whether or not the Securities Exchange will contest the rulings that have been made. Some individuals think that has the potential to initiate a fresh constitutional discussion and have an effect on the market for virtual currencies if the exchange chooses to appeal the decision or not. Stuart Alderodi, the chief legal officer of the company, has expressed his confidence in the decision that the court has made and expressed his belief that an objection is unlikely to have an impact on the outcome. In a more general sense, he has expressed his confidence in the determination that the court has made. The speaker reported that similar appeals have a poor track record of success and stated that the thorough analysis that the legal system performs leaves little room for new arguments to be presented for consideration. Uh, the speaker also mentioned that similar appeals have a poor track record record of success. He acknowledged that incentives have the potential to have a significant impact and that the Ripple versus SEC case has significant implications for the cryptocurrency industry, particularly regarding the regulation of digital assets. Even though this is the case, he acknowledged that incentives have the potential to have a significant impact. It is possible that the decision of the court that XRP is not a security in conjunction with the reduction in the sentence will affect transactions that involve other cryptocurrencies. A better understanding of the challenges and ongoing disagreements that are associated with crypto restrictions in the United States is provided by the case study. While the company is getting ready to pay the fine of $125 million, everyone in the industry is looking for any new information that may be available. This is happening at the same time. Uh, throughout the past couple of years, Ripple Labs has been the subject of a substantial amount of discussion concerning the possibility of the company registering for an initial public offering. Um, it was during the fireside discussion that took place today at Korea Blockchain Week, which is currently being held in Seoul, that uh, this conversation took place. A person who is currently serving as the chief executive officer of the company. Earlier today, Brad Garlinghouse gave a presentation that was focused on Ripple in the United States of America. Uh, during his presentation at the conference, Garlinghouse discussed a wide range of topics, one of which was the possibility of raising capital through an initial public offering in the United States. In response to a question regarding this topic, the chief executive officer stated that they do not have any plans to go public in the country at this time. The position taken by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission toward the entire sector and not just the sector in question was also discussed. Ripple accounts for the majority of the blame for this. Additionally, he 
went so far as to suggest that he recommends that individuals refrain from incorporating their businesses in that location, uh, because if they do so, they are simply asking for more legal bills predicament. He uh, went on to say that he recommends that individuals refrain from doing so. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission uh, has filed a lawsuit against Ripple that would be worth multiple billions of dollars. The lawsuit is currently being challenged. The allegations that the company engaged in unregistered placements of securities are the basis for the lawsuit that is being filed. The commission thinks that Ripple's native cryptocurrency, XRP, ought to be subject to the regulations that govern securities. This is the commission's opinion. Recently, a judge in the United States named Anaise Torres issued a decision that partially contradicted the view that was held by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Over 90% of the penalties were reduced by her, bringing the total amount down to approximately $25 million. It is important to note that she did not alter her previous decision, which stated that XRP, which is traded on secondary exchanges, does not qualify as a security. Thinks the company's stablecoin will be called Ripple Us Day. And it will be released after the release of the Ripple stablecoin, according to a report that was published by Crypto Potato in August. Ripple US Day is the name of the company's current stablecoin. This topic was discussed by Garlinghouse during the conference, and specifics were provided regarding how they are currently in a private beta how rules were developed within this framework. And when it is anticipated that the launch will take place, uh, according to what they said, it will take place at Korea Blockchain Weekend, which is scheduled to take place in a few weeks rather than years. The CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, stated in a recent announcement that the company is getting closer and closer to the launch of its new stablecoin, which is called Ripple USD. Uh, launch is expected to take place within the next few weeks, uh, according to their expectations. In a market where the United States dollar and the United States dollar cash are the dominant currencies, Orest, which has been launched and is currently in closed beta, will join Ripple's existing XRP stablecoin. Thinks that this will serve as a viable alternative to the United States dollar and the United States dollar cash. There are going to be two different blockchain networks that will be responsible for making it accessible. Garlinghouse has informed everyone that Ripple plans to use Rust to meet the requirements of the market. This information was brought to everyone's attention by Gary when the USDC incident that took place 18 months ago is taken into consideration. This is of the utmost importance. Garlinghouse continued by saying that this presents Ripple with an opportunity to intervene and provide an alternative. This was stated after the previous statement as well. Garlinghouse voiced his strong disapproval of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission and stated that Ripple had no plans to launch an initial public offering in the United States due to the commission's hostile regulatory environment. Garlinghouse's statement was made in response to the fact that the SEC is extremely hostile. Um, even though the stablecoin had been the subject of favorable press coverage, this was the result that Ripple's chief executive officer has issued a statement in which he criticizes the Securities and Exchange Commission and suggests cryptocurrency. A clarity of thought while at the same time filing a lawsuit against the exchange for the very same actions that it had previously authorized, the Securities and Exchange Commission has given its approval for Coinbase to conduct an initial public offering. Um, it would appear that this uh, move is in direct opposition to the other one. Uh, according to Garlinghouse, other cryptocurrency startups should avoid incorporating in the United States because it does not sound like a fun experience to try to go public in the United States with a very hostile regulator that has approved your son speaker. Garlinghouse strongly recommended that other cryptocurrency startups avoid incorporating in the United States. Uh, in addition to that, he talked about the recent enforcement action that the SEC took against the NF marketplace operation. In his uh, statement, he referred to it as unfortunate and proposed that non-financial instruments should not be categorized as securities. 